Okay, so as I said in the last video, in this video we're going to be setting up our go path, which is pretty much the directory where all of our code in Go is going to reside in. So to start off you want to change directory to your base, so just click on C, uh, type in CD and it should take you to slash users slash the user you're in, in my case it's Alex Cons. Okay, and now what you want to do is actually do sudo and then nano dot bash profile. So sudo space nano space dot bash underscore profile and this last bit's all together. Then you click on enter. It may ask you for your password, if it doesn't, well, that doesn't matter. Okay. You're going to see this kind of um, text editor inside your terminal, and it's just going to have a bunch of uh, comments and um, statements. Just forget it. Just find anywhere, anywhere in the file and just give yourself some space. I'm just going to create a small comment by typing the pound sign, the hash, and just say settings for Go programming language. So this is just um, a simple reminder. You can write whatever you want as long as it goes behind a uh, hash. Okay, now this is the important bit. You want to write exactly this. I'm going to have uh, the statements in the description, so don't worry. Export now in capitals go root equals and in between um, double quotes slash usr slash local slash go. And if you remember, this is the directory where go was installed in the package installer. Second line is export go path, and this is where. This is um, where the real configuration comes in. Here, what we're going to write is the directory to where we want our um, Go workspace. So, for example, if you want it in our desktop, you just do slash users slash alexcons slash desktop. But I prefer to have it... Um, Usually you'd have it somewhere else, but for um, demonstration purposes, we're going to have it in our desktop. So as I said, slash users, slash the name of your user, in my case, Alex Cons, slash desktop. And here is uh, the name. I usually call mine um, Go Workspace. It could be whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Go code just like that and the final one is export path equals um, slash users once again slash alex cons or the user you're in then uh, you want to follow the um, it's gonna be the same as the go path but at the end you're gonna write slash bin colon and then um, dollar sign and path. That was a slightly weird one, but don't worry, everything's in the description. And once you're done, you want to click on Control X, then click on Y, and then click on Enter. And that should save that file. Okay, so now we actually have to create that file. So if I go back in, we saw that we're creating it in our desktop, so I'm gonna simply go into my desktop, new folder, call it exactly the same as we called it, Go Code. And inside Go Code, it is essential that you create another three um, folders. First one is PKG, next one is SRC for source, this one stands for package, and the next one is for bin. And that is pretty much it. Now, um, let me just show you what these uh, workspaces are for. 
this is my actual uh, workspace source is where you're gonna have all the code right in source you can this is where you're gonna have your github code which you can download and where you can have your local code package is just extra libraries and packages required by the go framework and bin is where your executables are going to come in when you compile them so that's pretty much it that's your um, go path configured and now we're ready to code so you have to make sure that this this directory is the exact same one as in this go path variable and you have these three uh, folders in them and that's all you need to do to get up and running with go next tutorial will actually start coding look at the hello world program and introduce you to the basics of go thanks for watching